Hello, good evening, students. Yeah. So last day in chapter two, that activity that we have seen, the taste of starch, so which was also the form of carbohydrate. So today also we learn about one more type of activity, taste of sugar. Taste of sugar, which is also the form of carbohydrate, another form of carbohydrate. So different types of forms are there for carbohydrate. So starch is also the form of carbohydrate and this sugar is also the form of carbohydrate, another form. So how we can taste the sugar and actually the sugar is not a particular amount or equal amount in different food items. Actually the sugar amount is different in different food items. So how we can taste it? Today we will learn. So let's come to the main point. See, I have mentioned over here, taste of sugar, in bracket I have mentioned carbohydrate, means which is also the part or type of carbo carbohydrate. So what you have required to taste it, to taste presence of sugar in different food items. So in M you will write to taste presence of sugar in different food items. So materials required, first of all, food samples, test tubes, spoon, spirit lamp, test tube holders, droppers and chemicals. So now experiment, this way you can do it, previous or earlier the activity what you have learned in my previous video from there also uh, you can do this way, column wise or uh, how you have done that way also you can do it, that is your choice. So first three columns are there, experiment, observation, result. Actually I want to say here I have written uh, one one type of food, uh, food samples. So you can do it in other uh, food samples also. So to get the different types of results. So now what I have chosen, see take some natural honey in a taste tube and add a few drops of Benedict's solution to the taste tube. Heat the solution for about a minute. So you have to take the honey, natural honey in a taste tube, then you have to add with that Benedict solution that you don't know about this Benedict solution but uh, in the lab or in my video also, in this video also you will get to know about the, this, what is Benedict's solution. Then you have to add Benedict solution to the test tube and then you have to heat the solution, entire solution, the mixture for a minute or if it is required more then also you can take the time. Next observation, see if you will see after a few minutes, one or two minutes, the color changes to red, the color changes to red, the entire solution color changes to red. Then you can confirm that it contains high amount of sugar, means in honey there is high amount of sugar, you make the confirmation. Next, second one, in another test tube, you can take some glucose, means glucon D, that you take in summer days, glucon D, so in a test tube, you can take glucon D, little bit amount with a spoon in a test tube, then mix water or add water with that to make the solution and add few drops of Benedict solution with that and heat it. So you have to take little bit amount of glucon D with a spoon, then add water, then add few drops of Benedict solution with it and heat the solution. Now see the observation. Solution turns into a yellow or orange precipitate. Two types of colors are written. If it turns to yellow precipitate, then it contains low amount of sugar. If it turns to yellow precipitate means it contains low amount of sugar. That's why in place of yellow I have written low. But if it turns to orange precipitate, the color turns to orange means it has or it contains moderate amount of sugar means little bit more. Low means less and moderate means little bit higher than low. So that is called moderate. So yellow means low or 
turns to orange means moderate amount of sugar in it. Next up, I have chosen sugar crystals. So take some sugar crystals in a test tube, then add water with it, then add Benedict solution with it. Then heat the solution. With all the types of food samples, you have to add Benedict solution, which is common here. So do the process like earlier. Then after heating that, you have to check if the solution turns into a green precipitate. The solution turns into a green precipitate means it shows that sugar crystals contain very low amount of sugar. Not low, very low. If the color turns to green, precipitate or green color means it contains very low amount of sugar. I hope you all have understand from that video what is added with this video means my video so from there you have understand that how you can taste different amount of sugar in different food items so hopefully all of you have enjoyed this session so wait for my next class there you will get to know about how we can taste protein in different food items and fat also with that so Wait for my next class. Thank you. Visit again.